So there are a lot of different kinds of lights in Unreal and you just want the crash course explanation on all of them. Not a problem. Anytime you have a new scene it will usually come with no lights at all. If you want to add them to your world go up to Windows, Environment Light Mixer, and from here you can add whatever lights you want to your scene if they are not already there. Directional lights are the main lights. They point in a direction. You can manually rotate them with the gizmo or you can hold Control L and move the mouse around to drag them manually. Intensity controls how strong the light is. The color can be changed here. Indirect lighting is how much light bounces off other things in the environment. Volumetric scattering just scales intensity and the color of the light. Shadow amount controls the ambient occlusion levels, and specular scale controls how much light is reflected on the specular texture maps from your materials. The color of the clouds can be changed here, and under advanced, the color of the sun can be controlled here. Skylights likewise are lights that are generated from your sky. If you turn it off, then all you will see is mainly the light generated from your directional light. The intensity, color, indirect, and scattering is generally the same thing as you saw for the directional light. If you want, you can mess with the lower hemisphere colors down here. It defaults to black. You have ambient occlusion values you can mess with here. And if you want to add some ambient occlusion to the clouds, you can check this box right here. And then set their values specifically with these sliders. And then we have sky atmosphere. If you turn it off, you can see that it controls the atmosphere. You can control the color of it over here. Multi-scattering controls how much light looks like it's scattering around the atmosphere. Rayleigh scattering controls how the color changes throughout the day. It's normally set to blue, but you can set it to any arbitrary color you want. And then see how that affects the sunset with that colored atmosphere. This is probably more useful if you're doing some sort of space planet exploration type stuff. Atmosphere Mie affects how things look with a more after dark kind of setting. This is probably the kind of stuff that you'd play with if you want a more midnight full moon kind of look. Atmosphere Absorption controls what color light the atmosphere absorbs the most. It defaults to green because that's normally the color things on earth like plants absorb the easiest. The higher the value, the less green your scene is going to become. And you can change the artistic color of the sky with this. And honestly I'm not really sure what the art direction stuff is for. All I've noticed is that the higher the perspective view the more blurry the clouds get. The amount of fog can be reduced here. You can also adjust the aerial perspective values with this. And here are your volumetric cloud controls. If you turn them off there will be no more clouds in the sky. The bottom altitude changes the height at which the cloud layers start and change the patterns of the clouds that you will get. Layer height controls how tall the clouds look from afar. Max tracing distance controls the maximum amount of how much the clouds are drawn when tracing. And min distance is the opposite. If you want to change the cloud material, you can do that with this. Height fog obviously controls the fog for your scene. If you want your environment to look like a vast, expansive world, you probably want a lot of fog. The height falloff controls how dense the fog is at different heights. You know, kind of how there's less fog the higher you go up a mountain. Fog color can be controlled here, and you can control how it fades from one color to another if you want. Start distance is the distance from the camera that the fog starts, and cutoff distance is the distance from the camera that the fog will no longer be drawn. Directional interscattering controls how much of the light from the directional light gets scattered and mixed in with the fog. The higher the value, the more the directional light and fog will start to mix. And if you want to turn off the volumetric aspects of the fog, you can do that over here. Anyway, that's the gist of all the different types of lights in Unreal 5. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.